Welcome, welcome, welcome to another plant tour. I'm displaying um, my, or you know, my rekindled love for plants, house plants again. But this time I'm focusing on my golden pothos. And no, just golden pothos this time. All right, let's go. Which is it? One post on the one as I'm surfing the net says there are 15 different species. Then this chart says, um, of course, the government name Epiprimnum varieties, which is again types. It is 18. Uh, which is it? <laughs> again, I have. Here we go, introducing Dale, who was named after the street that I moved from. And he's been with me and now he's here at the new location with me. So this is Dale and let's dive in and see a little bit more about Mr. Dale, this golden pothos who has a lot of variated um, leaves and right on um, this, what, five months ago, this is what he looked like when we arrived and he again has grown in leaps and bounds and to be honest, I've taken, he, he has vined. This is a vine. And you can take the vines, cut it, and propagate it. And I love water propagations. Hey, these are the offsprings. The many plants that have come off of Dale. And yes, I can, I could have put them all in one large flower pot and made one full pot but that's not how I'm wired I like to start off with one or two stems um to be honest three but sometimes I do one depends on because some of them look kind of cute in these little pots but then how they grow and develop into larger pots I love to see that growth they, I mean I get the type of fulfillment as you see I've developed another or rekindled another hobby or something that I loved in my youth, uh, macrame and macrame planters and giving away some of these small plants to keep the clutter down. Hey, perfect combination. Perfect combination. <laughs> introduce you to number two, the second um, golden pothos that I thought was a Cebu blue thus naming her blue um, pothos but come to find out she is a, a golden pothos as she started reviving this was a distressed plant from Lowe's yes there's an area where they put struggling dying plants and I gravitate towards it yes I do I go over there and they give me a large percentage or not just me but anyone um, a large percentage off the price you know to revive the plants or you know you just take your chance because I've had a couple of that were too far gone but um but again this is uh, blue who was distressed coming from Lowe's and let's see her progress and she did she again she grew like a weed blue today again she's only been with me a couple about three months um, and she's been pruned and cut back quite a few times I, I don't know exactly I know it's been over twice because she vines. Once the vine, um, I don't, I don't want it to grow and droop down just yet. But I am going to have um, one of these to be a hanging pot. But she had about three, three vines that I cut back and put in water propagated. And again, thus, these are the offsprings of blue. I was noticing that this is the same flower pot that Dale had on when he arrived. So yeah, I switch it up. Dale outgrew his pot. 
he's in something else or like I said I propagate him and now blue is in his pot and she's thriving so she'll probably outgrow this too when they get root bound that means their roots actually grow outside of their planters there's another pot inside of this gray pot again this is the pot that Dale arrived in and now she's occupying or wearing <laughs> Okay, these are the offsprings of blue. She has been growing, like I said, she has been vining. And yes, I could put those single twigs into um, the same pot, but again, those one single or two or three stems will develop into five or six, and, and it doesn't take long. And did you know that pothos are, are have natural hormones growth hormones that they actually help other plants root fast see I have a couple of stems of blue in my philodendron water propagation and my pink flesh now what is it rush pink pink rush water propagations and I will put at least one stem in any, any other plant to promote quick growth they actually help others grow. They grow so fast. Who knew? All right, let me introduce you to Paul. I have such high regards and respect for Paul as he was a rescue plant. I had a neighbor that was moving and the movers and relatives that were that were doing the moving um, didn't want to take the neglected, um, neglected, <laughs> neglected plant and I wanted to take this one because it looked like it was a, a pothos but as I started to you know dissect it and inspect it it is a pothos and it is according to the chart that's included in this presentation a golden pothos but he's more profound his leaves are larger his stems are um, look like a half an inch thick I mean he was robust but again, he was neglected, scorched in the sun, um, just forget being thirsty. He didn't have it. He wasn't watered. So this is a testament that these plants are hardy. They are drought tolerant. And again, he has bounced back. His bounce back. Again, I have such a respect for these plants. Um, but again, here is Paul. Gating stems and cuttings. I love, 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 love doing this. And I do it a lot. Yes, I do. As soon as, like I said, I don't want my plants to vine just yet to hang down. So as soon as they vine, um, once the vine get about, um, about a foot long, about 12 inches, I cut and propagate. And I call these my propagating cocktails. I love collecting pretty shaped glasses and goblets and I use them for water propagation alrighty let's go yes yes this is Paul today again like I said I am so impressed with the bounce back of this plant he bounced back and I love my choice of planters for him because he has he's rocking this stainless steel with a little bling bling and look at the leaves and the shine you go Paul you go Paul yes Paul has increased my love for pathos strong standing tall bounced back with a vengeance and let me show you his offsprings These are Paul's offsprings. Look at him. He did that for, it was not bad for a plant on his way to the dumpster. <laughs> look at that one leaf. I love it. That one leaf. And look, I, I, I'm telling you, in two weeks, two, see those two smalls at the bottom of that one leaf? Two weeks. Another two weeks is going to be three or four. No, it's going to be a completely full 
flower pot so but look at that not bad not bad Cletus not bad <laughs> oh, I love these plants but um yeah total fulfillment in this reviving of Paul as the before and after what oh, just an amazing feeling just amazing and it can apply to so many things in life I just love and get total satisfaction out of seeing the after especially when it's good when something looks better smells better just isn't um, just decluttered before and after just total fulfillment and I know I'm not the only one I really enjoyed this hope you did too be inspired. <laughs>